Hi, today, which is June 9th, we're going to talk about um, partridge berry. Michelle Reppins. And I picked this out of the woods. I washed it off. And so now I probably have to pick some sticks out of it. But this is called, it's a small little evergreen. It's little leaves are opposite like that. It's a trailing evergreen, usually poking up through the leaves. In the fall, it's gonna have a tiny red berry. I believe I posted on my Facebook page a picture of the flower. I actually saw it in flower earlier this year. So this is an herb that we get the knowledge of using it from the American Indians. Not all of their knowledge was lost. And the Indians used this for childbirth. It is one of the greatest uterine tonics. So it helps to expel um, the child out of the womb. It's a partruent. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. It is also probably one of the greatest female regulators for uterine troubles. Whether you're having um, menorrhea or amenorrhea, which is heavy bleeding or scanty bleeding, uh, leucorrhea, which is a vaginal infection. See, it's a long trailing. Mm -hmm. It's um, good for urinary complaints also. Um, when you take it weeks before childbirth, it makes the birthing process much easier. And I don't see any reason why you can't give this to any of your animals either. Usually what's good for the goose is good for the gander, as they say. So I'm picking out all my leaves from there and the dirt, and I am left with this. So I use a lot of this for women who are having um, trouble with their periods or women who want to get pregnant that can't get pregnant because it is, um, it's a tonic and an alterative. So this means that it changes the chemistry and the tone of the uterus for the better. Alteratives work over time. Nothing in herbalism is instantaneous. The herbs alter the chemistry of the body. They change um, the state of the tissues for better health. They help expel toxins. They tighten, they tone, or they soothe and stop inflammation whatever their um, job is. So that's just your little herb blurb for partridge berry or squaw vine, as it's called. Michelle Reppens is its uh, Latin name. And um, I'm going to take this and make my yearly tincture. This is all I need of this. for right now. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to pour um, grain alcohol over it because it's still, I picked it Sunday, it's Tuesday, it's still a fresh herb, which means it still carries a lot of water. So you want to add alcohol that doesn't have water in it, which is your grain alcohol. All right, I'm going to get a lid in a moment, but never forget label it and date it. So it's um, squaw vine, I'll call it. Today's 6 9 21. Put your label on. 10 days. Shake it twice a day for 10 days and it's ready to be poured off. Um, generally, I tend to leave mine for a lot longer, but that's just me. So anyway, this is your little squaw vine. 
education on herbs for the day. It is found in most of North America in the deep woods. It likes the shades. Um, I can even find it in my front yard because my front yard is all trees growing right there in the woods. So you have a blessed day and remember God created everything. Every seed bearing plant shall be for your food. Herbs are food. They are food for your body that creates health. The closer you stay to nature, the closer you stay to whole foods, what God created, the healthier you'll be. The further away you go from that to man-made fo foods, the sicker you will be. It's God's law. And he is wise way beyond us. You have a blessed day.